Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we talked about how to go ahead and register the menus and we also learned if we want to display the menu we can just use a function and then it displays it which would have which would be WP nav menu right however we also learned we also observed that if I want to make a custom menu then we have to do something else because it doesn't give me access to uh, change anything or change the structure of the menu and uh, or add or it's not very flexible I would say okay so in that case so what we can do is we basically need to get the menu in form of kind of an array or object so that we can loop through over it and just create our own structure so for that we have got a function available and that's called WP get nav menu items and it retrieves all of the menu items of a navigation menu so that actually would make our job a lot easier if we did that right so what does it accept uh, so it accepts the menu and this is required arguments is optional so it can take menu ID or slug or name or object however how do we get the menu ID because all we know uh, menu ID could change like we can't really uh, go and grab it the menu ID it's not the best practice so but what would not change is this location so basically what we want to do is we want to get hold of the menu ID with the help of the menu location so for that what we'll do is we'll just create a function inside of our class menu and get that so we'll say public function get menu ID and then it's going to take the theme location so we'll just call it location and then inside of this what we'll do is there is another function available in WordPress which is called get nav menu locations so we will get all the locations available on the site and we'll store it inside of locations and we'll call this function called get nav menu locations and I want to show you what does it actually produce so I'm just going to print it over here locations and of course I have to call this function in order for me to view this so let's go ahead and call that inside of nav menu I'm going to get rid of this we don't need it right now and we basically can call over here so we'll get an instance remember that so let's say menu class or menu object and then we basically want the menu instance okay the good part is that no matter how many times you call the get instance it's only going to get the uh, in the first instance it's not going to uh, go ahead and keep creating objects because we are using the singleton pattern so which is great okay so we want to be able to call the get menu ID function that we've just created inside of our menu class oops and then it's going to ask for the theme location so theme location is Equila so you can see that this is the theme location Equila header menu okay so you've got that and now I'm going to go ahead and refresh and there you go you can see that I've got a primary menu which I think WordPress registers automatically and then these are our other two menus which we have registered so what we're interested in is getting this menu ID right so all I have to do is just go back to our code inside of my function and over here I will say get object ID by location okay so we'll say menu ID equals locations and I want the first item so first item would be location okay so just want to show that to you once again what we have in locations is this and I'm basically interested in this item so I have locations so this location equals to this array so if I want the this item I just have to pass the key of this right 
So that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm saying locations, which is this array, and then I'm passing the key of that, which is this, right? Because that's what we asked for when we called that function. We passed the uh, menu location. So menu location is coming into location, and that's what we are passing in as a key, which means I'm expecting to see this value, which was the menu ID. Okay, great. So let's do that. And now if I go ahead and print it, you can echo it if you want. I just have that code template available. So that's There you go. So you've got that available. Okay, great. So we'll just say return not empty menu ID then return the menu ID else don't return nothing okay great awesome so we've got the menu ID which is great over here uh, we'll just store that in into menu ID so we'll say that this is header menu ID okay great so if we've got the menu ID and all, we all know that we have got this function available where we can pass the menu ID and get all of the menus and that's what we're interested in doing so we'll just call this function over here and we'll store it inside of header menus thing equals WP get nav menu items and I've, we've already got the menu ID which is great and let's just print it to see what we get inside of it okay great so let's refresh and there you go congratulations you've got all of the menu items you can see that um, you know you've got the title URL right you've got all of this information what we don't have is the uh, we don't have this arranged in form of like child menu relationship we just have all of the menus including the child as well as the parent right so what we want to do is basically display in such a way that I have uh, the parent menu and then under which we have the child menu so how do we do that so how do we know if it's the parent menu or child menu well you'll notice that there is something called menu item parent and you can see that for this menu it's zero which means that this is a parent menu because it doesn't have a parent menu ID so wherever we find that like in this case for our gallery so if you take a look gallery is parent to special journey right so this has a parent menu ID and that's how we get to know that okay this is the child menu which means in the first loop when we are running we would only want to display those menu items where the menu item parent is zero because that would mean that those are parent and in the second loop which is in the internal loops then we can run on to the child menus okay so let's begin then mm -hmm.